chair of the advisory committee, acclaimed actor, director, and former young performer, Mr. Fred Savage. Um, this is incredibly exciting uh, for me to see kind of where Looking Ahead began and now where it is tonight is, is really overwhelming. Um, I've always been so proud uh, to be a part of this kind of crazy community of ours. And um, nights like this are, are just make it, make it so worth it. It really brings it all home. And I want to thank Sharon for all her leadership and support. and. Keith McNutt, who is just the heartbeat of uh, um, And I want to thank uh, the honorees tonight, Max and Tia and Tamara, uh, June, Margaret, uh, and Hillary and Judy. Thank you for being here and for honoring us with your presence. And, um, it really is. It's, it's, uh, it's an incredible community, and that's, that's why I'm here. I'm part of this community. Um, our community, this, this community of totally weird kids who <laughs> go to work in the morning instead of school and go to school in trailers instead of classrooms and we're able to balance a full-time work schedule with all the other demands of being a kid. Um, but for me, when I was acting, there was no looking ahead, so that community was much smaller. Um, I mean, there were other kids that I worked with who I really liked, but when I wasn't working, I didn't want to always you know, hang out with the people I worked with. And I knew there were other kids like me out there. I would see them on TV and uh, in the movies, but I didn't have a way to, to connect with them. I had no way to reach out. So it was really just kind of me and my mom on weekends, like figuring out what to do. Um, but I was lucky. I was really lucky. I had a fantastic mom and I had a fantastic family who I love to spend time with. And, who did anything and everything they could to help a son who they saw struggling to build friendships and, and a life outside of work. And they, they fought to enroll me in a school out here in LA, even though we had no real permanent address from Chicago. Uh, they convinced the local Little League team to let me play, even though I missed all of the practices and most of the games. <laughs> I think I was there for the photo. And, 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 and I was also part of a lot of like really awkward blind dates that my parents would set me up on with friends, you know, with people they knew from work, or my mom knew from the nail salon. You know, the sun, okay, me too. And it was not, it was not great. Um, and work was great. I loved work. Um, but when I wasn't working, it was hard. It was, it was lonely. It was, it was a lonely time. And, um, you know, I, I think I didn't have this kind of community, you know, there for me. You know, when, I, when I started acting, I was six years old, I was doing commercials in Chicago, and the term child actor wasn't necessarily a good thing, you know? Um, it was the opposite. It was something to avoid. It was something associated with negative things in life. Um, and while I didn't, and I still don't feel that that defines us or our community in any way, I realized that I understood why people would get into, into trouble, and, and it was because they lacked support. They lacked the support I so fortunately got from my family, but they also lacked the support to come from a place like looking ahead. The social support, the academic support, the career support, and not just for careers in show business. Looking Ahead provides all of this and more. And it's a place where these strange kids can hang out with other weird kids and feel for a minute not so strange. Um, where they can turn towards it, they need someone to talk to, to confide in, to ask for help. Where they learn that the skills they're developing as a result of being in the business at an early age serve as a foundation for them to not only succeed, but excel in whatever they choose to do in life, within the business or out of it. This is an important organization to me, and one that I am proud to support and be a part of. And it is one that I hope you all here will continue to support, as mentors, as advisors, as role models, and as donors. We all share that responsibility, that we're in this together. This is for us. Um, we have a fantastic program for you guys tonight. We're honoring five amazing former young performers with awards that reflect the core values that we're looking ahead is all about. Mentorship between generations, commitment to community service, pursuit of education, raising social awareness about important issues, 
and the central importance of strong, nurturing parents. You guys are the backbone to all of this.